Today I'm going to show you how to download VirtualBox. Uh, the main point to this video is just setting you up to then install Ubuntu in VirtualBox, so this is going to be a pretty easy video, but still. Uh, you just need to go to filehippo.com, that's F-I-L-E-H-I-P-P-O.com, and I'll put a link to it in the description. And we're going to download VirtualBox here. It's a completely open source virtual machine, so basically you can, it's a free program, totally free, you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, and it allows you to run another operating system inside the operating system you already have running. Like I'm running Windows 8, uh, Windows 7 on this, and I'm going to install Ubuntu in it in the next video in VirtualBox. Uh, so go to filehippo.com, search VirtualBox up at the top, and then click on the VirtualBox option. And you can use the newest version, the version I'm going to be using for this video, so if you want to do it exactly the same as I'm doing it, uh, is 4.2.12.84980. So if that isn't the version and you want to use the exact same one as me, choose it from this list over here. And then uh, once you're ready, then just hit download latest version. It's a pretty big file, 98 megs, so depending on your internet, like it could take one minute if you have fast internet, but it, it's more likely to take like 10 minutes to a couple hours, depending on your internet. So uh, for me, it looks like it's going to take three minutes. So uh, as soon as it's done, then I will continue the video. Okay, so now it's finished downloading. If you're running Chrome, then it'll be right here. If you're running some other uh, um, web browser like Opera, or Firefox, or Internet Explorer, that's probably going to be in your downloads folder. So if it is in your downloads folder, um, let's see, it would be called VirtualBox, so um, it's going to be right here for me. Uh, so at this point you can just double click on it to run it, and I'll show you any options that it requires to set up. I haven't used this exact version yet, so I'll be going through it with you, but I understand most of what it will uh, ask is settings, so I can tell you what you'll want to choose. Okay, so just hit run when this pops up. Uh, it might ask, pop up and ask for administrator privileges. It hasn't yet, but we'll see. So we can close these now. And then after this is done installing, I'll show you how to set up a virtual hard drive. I'll show you how to uh, mount the ISO image to install from. And I'll show you how to like dedicate RAM to it and video card RAM. Uh, so just hit next here. Just leave it uh, as the defaults for this, unless you have a specific reason for changing it. Normally it should, this should be fine, so just hit next. Uh, if you want a shortcut on the desktop, leave it. I don't like having shortcuts, so I'll hit next there. Uh, the networking feature will reset your network uh, connection and temporarily dis disconnect you from the network. So if you're doing something important right now, like downloading a large file, don't hit yes on this until, like, basically I would suggest just closing out everything you're doing on the internet, so this is the only thing you're doing right now, uh, because it might mess with things you're doing on the internet. So when you're ready, just hit yes, and then hit install. And it should only just take a minute to install. It's a decent sized program, but really not that big. So it should uh, should go through pretty quickly. Okay, now it's popped up asking for administrator privileges, so hit yes here. And then since I have a solid state drive, it's going to install pretty quickly for me. It's probably going to take longer for you. Uh, it might pop up with several things like this. Uh, and since you know where you're getting the program from, like if you were getting it from a sketchy source, then I'd say oh, watch out about this. But we got it from File Hippo, which is very reputable. So you can just say install. You can hit the always trust if you want. Uh, I'm just going to leave it unchecked. But I'm going to hit install. And that's basically just installing a USB driver so that your laptop can talk to the virtual machine. Uh, this one is installing a driver so that your network connection can talk to the virtual machine. Basically so your computer that's running inside the virtual machine can connect to your regular computer and then go out to the internet. So you'll want to hit install on that. And then this does basically the same thing. And then I think that should be all the drivers. Actually, there's one more. Okay, another networking one. And later, once you have it installed, uh, okay, you can say to start it or not. Just hit finish installing. 
Uh, later when you have it installed, if you open the command prompt and type ipconfig, it will show you your virtual adapters here. I also have VMware installed, which is a like a more professional version of VirtualBox, but it's pretty similar. Uh, you're going to see entries in here for the uh, virtual machine specifically. Um, see VMNet1, those are for my virtual machine. So VirtualBox will have something like that in this list as well. Just if you know enough about it then. Yep, so then uh, when you get to this window, you're done installing it, and then go to my next video on how to install your operating system in it. But the basic idea is next you're just going to hit new, create, go through all the steps, create a hard drive, like a virtual hard drive, and then mount your ISO image for your operating system, and then install it. So uh, just go to my next video if you want to keep going.